It's a very special episode. Hi guys and welcome to Turning Works. Now I've just hit a massive milestone for me recently. I've just hit 1,000 subscribers, although I'm just over that now. Um, but I wanted to say a massive thank you because it's obviously you guys watching that hopefully enjoy these videos and it makes it all worthwhile for me. And as you can see, I've done some extensive decorating here. And I've also got some very high quality props. So I wanted to say thank you to uh, all the subscribers and also to some of my Facebook friends. They've been sending me loads of bits and pieces. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone who sent me not only just a sticker, uh, but some actual physical things. Um, like for example, I think it was Norman. I could be wrong. I probably am. But please tell me in the comments below if I am. Um, I think Norman sent me some Formica strips, which are amazing for burning. Thanks very much for those. And if it's not Norman, then please, I say, write in the comments below. I've also had a massive piece of wood sent to me from the States. Now, this is from a guy called Rob Nichols, who is an absolute gem of a bloke. So, he sent me over this burl, right? Now, this is from America, okay? God knows how much it cost him to send this to me. But it's, you know, it's pretty big. Let's just get the, the measured tape on this. So it's eight inches. So it's almost, if, if it were square, it'd be eight inches square, but you can see it's been charred on the outside. Um, you've obviously got a, a crack round there, which this bit's gonna come off. Uh, but it's really interesting. I still don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but I will do something with it. Um, but the good thing about that is there's actually a story to go with it. So, and Rob has not only sent me this, he sent me a letter explaining where this comes from which is amazing basically that comes from uh, Connecticut so um, it's it's traveled along there's there's a long story to that I won't go into it now but thank you very much Rob you are a gem all right so another gift I got was from Greg Dykes uh, by created by Greg uh, the sticker is uh, the sticker is on the wall as well um, I've also got one of his cards But he sent me a sheet of walnut veneer, which is awesome. Um, it came in this very carefully packaged package, and uh, that's where it's going back in now. So thanks, Greg, for that. Um, really appreciate that, mate. That's awesome. I've, I've got an idea on that, but that'll be later. And also, in the packet, he sent me piano keys. Hello, how cool is that? Now these I will use for finials, I'm going to try one out soon, uh, but I've been so busy in the shed recently that I haven't had time to do much turning. So, we're going to got those to crack on with. Now also, when I was at UKIS I met loads and loads of people, everyone was really great actually, I mean genuinely really really great. I won't go into UKIS because I've already done a round up of that, but um, my bruv, he's not actually my brother, but he might as well be because he looks just like me. Uh, Jamie Page, JP Woodworks, um, he bought me this, which is a lump of sycamore, and this piece is four inches square by nine inches long, and this is a piece we're going to use today. So Jamie, keep watching, I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this. Let's start.
it's easier on myself. I'm going to spin this round a bit so I undo it. Move it around so I can get a good angle. Tighten it up. Okay. Here we rock. I'm going to start by flattening off this bottom. So now using a parting tool, I'm just going to define an area. I'm going to use the Simon Hope Mini Hollower. Um, I haven't used it a lot, so I'm not very good at it at all. So uh, let's give it a go. So there's the inside done. Uh, just got to chuck a little bit of sandpaper over it because you know you should do if you can get to something, clean it up. Um, and then we're going to start working on the shape. So you can see 20 millimeters there. That's going to be the minimum diameter of this section here. Let's get on with it. Okay, so just mark where the one drawer is. Uh, 
There we go. Sanding to do, etc. But we're getting there. So the next job is to fit a bottom into that. So the inside of that is about 79 millimeters. Angle these. Just work your way in. success that only took about eight nine ten eleven twelve times uh but it's in thank god so happy days I need to make it slightly concave so I'll do that now So just going to sand that and then put the Davy Dimple in. And that is done. I always like to sand with the grain before I finish anything. It just gets rid of any little sanding marks. Interesting wood feet. 
just coming across like that. There we go, get the Davy Dimple on it and we're done. Happy Christmas! Arr. Actually, that's quite cool. I might leave it like that. Yes. That is a design feature. I quite like that, actually. Do you know what I do? I'm going to leave that. Design change. Sweet. Not bad at all. Right. Let's burnish that off with a little bit of Use my freshly sharpened skew to just take out some of the uh, the bumps on this. It's a good idea actually to get yourself a pencil and to basically have it like that so it's underneath your fingers on top of your little finger and then what you can do is with these two fingers you can try and find a flat spot there's a flat spot there you see you can feel it so when you you basically taking it round See if it rests or stops, and if it does, that's a flat spot. I thought I had one there, but I haven't. And a tip. It's very good actually for doing that. Yep, so that's good. I'm going to sand that, take this down now to about there. I'm going to leave this bit because actually I can do something with that.
Right, I've decided to drill the hole through while it's like this because um, if I do flip it around and then drill the hole and it's off centre I'm doomed. This way hopefully it will be dead centre and I can just flip it around and clean off the edge. Bring the Jacobs chuck So I'll come back once this is sanded um, and then we go through the Yorkshire Grit and Hampshire Sheen together. Oh, sexiness. Okay, so here are three things we need to complete the project. We have our hollow form. We have our hollow form bottom. And we have our glue. So it really is just as simple as putting a bit of glue around the inside. Don't need masses. Go. and literally finding the way that the you see the grain arches that way so we get this going the same way 
put it roughly in position so we know it's going that way and then we can line it up I'll try and line it up like that and then And there we go. Nice little hollow form. So there we go. A nice little hollow form with a very small neck. And if you do the bottom correctly, unlike this one, you won't even notice. So there we go. A nice little hollow form with a thin neck. Um, I'll show you shots of it afterwards. You want original, I'll give you original. Ah! Alright, let's test these. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> Droopy. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Doesn't work. Oh, come on, one of these is going to work. Come on. <laughs> Not sure about that one. Oh, that's the best one. We'll go with that one. Okay. Boom chicka wow wow. Success.